If you're thinking about removing your acrylic nails, you have to watch this video because you want to avoid the issue that one of our viewers is facing right now. And this is pretty serious. So she wrote to me, as you can see the pictures below, I removed my acrylic nails, which caused severe damage to my nails. What can I do to get my nails healthy again? I am done with the gel and acrylic nails. Please advise people to avoid doing what I did. As you can see, my thumb still has some acrylic on. How do I remove the acrylic? First of all, many of you are going to say, well, why did she remove it like this, right? But I'm going to tell you, I understand why this happened. So let's look at the pictures. So if you have pretty weak stomach, I don't know, maybe look away or something because these are pretty, pretty bad. Okay. So as you can see, unfortunately and my question right away was did you pull off the acrylic because i didn't understand what happened because normally when you remove acrylic properly this should never happen and she said unfortunately yes she she pulled it off so as you can see here the nail is completely missing and what you see here is exposed nail bed which is a living skin so this is very very painful same thing here and this is just uh, a better image and let me just zoom in a little bit so she, i think she put some vaseline or some kind of an ointment and that's a very good idea um you know first of all if i had a client that came to me with such sore nails i would say i i wouldn't i wouldn't do anything i, I can't do anything for a person like that because our job as nail technicians is to beautify nails and nails that are appearing healthy and are normal and this is not this is a medical condition but i'm not trying to be you know a smarty pants and and tell you that you did the bad thing it's, i'm trying to help so here's what i would say i would tell you to go to a doctor to make sure that you don't develop some kind of infection because this is an open wound right now a lot of times people would say well can you put more product on these nails and i would say absolutely absolutely not because this is an open wound and these products should never be touching first of all they should not be touching the skin but they should not be touching an open wound and as you can see like this looks really 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 sore so i don't know if this is mm, a bit of an infection happening like i honestly my heart breaks when I see this and and I can't do anything to, to help, but I would definitely um, see if I could see a doctor. Like I understand that, you know, it's div sometimes difficult, but very often now doctors will say, just keep it clean and put some Vaseline on it. And I would just cover it. Like these two probably nails I would cover. But then again, this is what I would do. I'm not advising. I can't really advise what to do because now this is not a cosmetic. Um, I can only give cosmetic advice, but this is what I would do for myself. I would definitely not treat these nails with acetone. Um, there is a little bit of acrylic right here. And because of this nail is just damaged, there is no open wound here. What I would do is I would wrap this nail in foil, in like aluminum foil, and just have cotton saturated, fully saturated with, with acetone and put a little pad. And I'll show you a video on how I do it. And it's a bit of a process, but it's it's the least damaging process when it comes to removing acrylics. And you know what? We very often, like I said, we would wave our finger and say, oh my God, I can't believe she ripped it off. But you know what? Unfortunately, the majority of the salons do the same thing. So they force off the product. Like I see videos with people going to salons and this they, they put sometimes credit card or another tip or um, a thumbnail and they just rip the product off. Like... I'm speechless when I see this. It's this is a torture. This is absolutely uh, incorrect way of removing acrylics or any product for that matter. But because people see it so often, they think that it can be done that way. Maybe she had it done this way and she thought that okay, the product is not coming off, so I'm going to help it and she yanked it too much and the product came off with her nail, right? So this is you know, I hold unfortunately my own industry responsible for spreading such dangerous techniques and showing people that this this is how professionals do it guys like we can do better i know it takes a, a long time to remove acrylic properly but people are paying us to do a better job than they would be able to do it themselves let's be more responsible and let's 
care for people's nails because this this is what happens when people don't know how to do these these things properly and probably she had it done to her nails on numerous occasions so she thought okay so this is how how you do it and this is what happens right okay so let's look at let's look at the other pictures i'm honestly i'm honestly heartbroken to see this okay so how can i help her with this nail so yes i can see there is acrylic and unfortunately mm, well unfortunately mm, some of the acrylics are very very they, they're fortunately and unfortunately they're bonded really well so we all love products that bond really really well because nothing is lifting and nothing is breaking but that comes with a cost because when you go to remove this product then it's going to be very difficult to remove it also some acrylics are just and i've and i've seen it they're just really really hard and it's i don't know if it's still on the market uh, mma acrylics so methyl methacrylate uh, acrylics i find it hard to believe but apparently people are saying that these products are still on the market and people are still using them so methyl methacrylate is a dental acrylic so that the problematic product is the the monomer it's the liquid so in the nail industry we use ethyl methacrylate which is the main ingredient mixed with other things to make it a liquid and then it's mixed with a powder so then you have a liquid and powder system also called as uh, called acrylic but some people they get very cheap acrylic and they still mix it with methyl methacrylate which is not legal to be used as um, as cosmetic it's a dental acrylic and the reason why is because the we don't need to use methyl methacrylate in the 80s they probably used methyl methacrylate because there was nothing else on the market and it turns out the methyl methacrylate is not it's not that it's carcinogenic or anything like necessarily bad for you but it it creates just a, not a perfect enhancement so methyl methacrylate does not bond very well to the natural nail on its own so the nail really underneath has to be shredded for that product to bond so when you shred the nail when you mm, treat it with a very very coarse file you're creating very a lot of ridges a lot of very rough textures so the product can then seep into the nail plate and it can hold on to it right so it doesn't bond very well to like a healthy surface then they also use usually acidic primers which again acidic primers also are not the devil but when they're used on already over filed nail plate they can be problematic right so then they soak the nails with way too much sometimes acidic um, primer and then they just put the mixture of the methyl methacrylate and the acrylic powder on the nail and that product is really really hard and once it bonds to that shredded nail it really holds on to that nail and the problem is if the bond of the product okay so if the product bonds to your nail stronger than your nail bonds to the finger when you smack your hand really hard guess what's going to happen you're going to rip off your natural nail so you know strong nails are great but the nail has to be able to break so sometimes that's what happens so going back to how to remove this product so this might be a little difficult to remove but not necessarily what i would recommend is wrapping because this there's already probably quite a lot of product removed from the top so what i would do is i would saturate cotton pad apply the cotton pad saturated in pure acetone don't use a regular nail polish remover because that sometimes does not have enough acetone it looks like this nail can handle some acetone um, and just wrap the nail tightly in aluminum foil and then just make sure that the foil is is tight around your finger okay so just do one one nail at a time so there's only i think acrylic on two nails so just do one at a time so just keep it like this and then maybe hold your hand and i don't know when you're watching tv just hold this finger to make sure that the product is not loose so that the the wrap is not loose and the acetone is making contact with the nail because the the heat from the body actually helps the acrylic to soften up and kind of release what happens as well it's softening it's kind of um, it's absorbing and it's uh, swelling the product and the product should come off so now i'm going to show you because i i have a video on uh, acrylic removal and i'm going to show you how the product should start looking when when it's ready to be removed okay so let me just pull up this video so i have acrylic to natural nails uh full process now let's see okay this is this is how 
the product should be looking. So you see how it's just flaking off? It's, it's swollen and it's ready to be pushed off. And it's almost like a little slimy. Oh, there you go. You see how soft this is? And then also I mentioned that you have to do one nail at a time because if, if you just take off the um, acetone or the wraps from all the nails, the product is going to re-harden on the nail. Okay, so you see that's what you can do. You can grab acetone and, and then scrub it and just then see the surface. Okay, so you know what, if you want to see the full video, then definitely um, see the full video. But um, this is how the removal should be. So just, you really have to have a lot of patience uh, when you are removing acrylics and don't rush anything and don't force the product off. It has to be very, very soft in order for this to come off properly. So this is thankfully a very small piece. So this should come off um, easily. If you, if you find that your, nails, your nail is too sore for acetone, my advice would be do not try to file it off. Acrylic is very hard to file. And when you start putting pressure, you're going to hit the, the healthy, well, the healthy, the natural nail underneath, and then you're going to damage this part even more. So definitely just maybe wait until the nail does not feel as, as sore and then soak off then. Okay, so now this is the other hand and the other hand does not have as much damage, but definitely is severely damaged as well. So as you can see, Mm, so we have three nails that are like extremely damaged. So there is nail bed exposed. So this is a wound really. Um, definitely I would not be applying absolutely no hardeners, nothing. And I would see a doctor to make sure that you don't get an infection. The other nails, I would make sure that I'm keeping them as short as possible. You can see that these nails are very, very damaged. You can tell by how red it is. And you can also tell by the, how the nail kind of curls up. And this is what happens this is what happens when the nail is very, very damaged. So I would say probably like 50% or more of the nail is gone. And let's not forget, the natural nails naturally have like a protective surface. So nails have the first 10% of the nail plate, like the top of the nail plate, is, has, is built out of cells that are much more dense and they are much more resilient to to any you know damage um, so and the bottom layers of the natural nail are much more spongy and they are much softer and they actually don't bond to a nail polish very well or the nail polish does not bond to, to these damaged layers so what i would recommend with the other nails is as long as this damage is growing out not having any length don't try to keep um the nails square or anything like that don't worry about the shape i would just shorten them to the shape of the nail bed okay so that way you have less pressure on the on the nails on the area what i would also suggest actually the, the skin around your nails is is not really bad it's just it's definitely a little dry it's probably i don't know if this is a damage or it's just the skin it's hard for me to tell from this angle it could be just um, the cuticle or something here um, but i would use um, carousel or something even vaseline for a few days um, but i would use carousel only on these nails do not use carousel on these nails because um, you definitely don't want to be putting it on on a wound right so possibly doctor is going to tell you to just put a vaseline and just keep it very very clean covered so unfortunately the damage is going to just have to grow out even from these nails before you will be able to do anything else. I don't know if there was a tiny bit of acrylic on this, this nail as well. Again, you know, you can do one nail a day or something if you have patience and just wrap this nail for 10 minutes or so with the acetone and, um, and see if you can very gently with the wooden stick just kind of lift this off, but it should be coming off by then by itself. So what I would recommend is possibly Again, shorten this, this nail, please. But using the, the new OPI repair uh, mode, repair mode, it seems to be 
helping. So now the repair mold, what it does, it's the advertising behind this product is very bold. So basically it says the repair is 99% of keratin, but it's, it's kind of, it's true, but it's not. So as I mentioned, as I can see here, the nails are quite damaged. So basically, um, we have between uh, 50 to 100 layers of keratin on like our nails are built of 50 to 100 layers of keratin and the nail is actually being made here so once it's made it's being pushed out here so the nails are not growing from underneath so they're not going to heal the skin can heal because the skin is actually rebuilding from underneath the nail just has to grow out so the new nail is going to have to grow out nothing is going to change really these missing layers. So the product that, um, that I'm mentioning, the OPI, the, I keep calling it rescue mold, but I think it's repair mold, is going to possibly bond the existing layers. So if you have, you know, 10 layers of the keratin left, it's not going to rebuild the 30 layers missing. It's just not going to be able to do that, but it's going to bond the, the cells of those 10 layers that you already have. So if you have some flaking, it might bond the flakes together and which is very helpful. It might make the nail feel a little bit better, but again, it has its limitations, right? So let's just not expect too much from, from these type of products. Another thing that I would really, really, really recommend so that the repair mode, OPI repair mode, you can use twice a day morning and night and it almost feels like a dehydrator so it just you apply it very very thinly it dries very very quickly and it looks like you have nothing on your nails but it kind of soaks into the nail and it just bonds the layers right which which is very nice but so that is done twice a day for at least six days and then maybe you can maintain it using it once a week or something so once you are done with that i would also recommend using warm oil soaks so what the the warm oil soaks do they don't just provide hydration because it's actually quite easy you put your hands in water and here you have hydration so what the oil does especially jojoba which actually it's not an oil it's an ester what it does it the molecule of the jojoba wax it's actually a wax is the molecules are so small that actually over time it will penetrate the nail plate and when they do penetrate the nail plate they kind of sit in between the nail cells and they allow the nail cells to move nicely without cracking and breaking and peeling. So it almost, it's like, it's like a filler in the nail that it just sits there and it prevents actually sometimes uh, the water from too much water absorbing into the nail plate. So think of the, the nail as a sponge and some of the oil is in the sponge, just kind of protecting the sponge. So both products in a different way will be very, very helpful. Again, I would be very, you know, obviously, very careful with the nails with with these fingers so if you want maybe ask your doctor obviously but maybe just even treat the other nails that are not like a you know open wound or anything like that but definitely the thumbs and you will see that not only your nails are going to improve they're going to be much more shiny and healthy looking but your skin also is going to get better also what i'm going to recommend is gentle hand cleansers um, I would not be using any alcohol, anything like that, like those, those um, alcohol cleansers, anything like that, because they are very, very drying and they are not actually as good as hand washing. So what I would suggest, um, just the proper hand wash and use a gentle detergent. So use something like a face uh, soap, uh, face cleanser, and use that as your hand cleanser. And then after that, I'm gonna actually I'll link a video because I always talk about it, but the, watching the three minute video is, I have this really good routine, three steps to make your nails like so much better, your nails and your hands. So watch the video. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to um, add two videos. One, the warm oil soak, and the second one, the three habits that will change how, how your nails are. And I would love to see your progress in a month or so. So in a month, you're gonna have this nail grown out. And I, I know, honestly, my heart hurts to tell you this, because I know you were probably hoping for some a better advice, but I, I just, I, I can't really advise you on anything else. So this was going to take, thankfully, when the nails are damaged like this, they grow a little bit faster. 
So I, I suspect that this is going to take at least a month for it to grow out. But once, once um, this area dries out a little bit, so the skin heals, right? Because the skin underneath is going to heal and it's going to actually harden. Okay, so the nail bed is going to become keratinized. So it's going to be become a little bit harder. And that's very, very good. That's a very healthy thing that's going to happen. And then eventually that nail is going to grow out. So hopefully this will create almost like a little scab on, on the skin here. And eventually it's just going to grow out. But I would follow doctor's advice on, on how to take care of these nails. And... Again, I would love to see your progress and good luck. And guys, please be very, very careful how you are removing the products. And I'm also in the description box, I'm going to link the video that I started watching with you guys so you can see how I removed the acrylic, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.